Six Months in a Leaky Boat by the famous New Zealand band Split Ends is a timeless classic. You are probably humming it to yourself right now, just because I mentioned the title of the extremely popular song. But did the notorious band actually spend half a year in a poorly constructed marine transportation vehicle, or did they lie for the clout? Well today, we're going to find out on Song Theory. <laughs> So let's start from the beginning. Now according to my research, Split Ends originally formed in New Zealand, but later moved to Australia for a couple of years. Now I'm no geography expert, but I'm pretty sure there is some water between New Zealand and Australia. So maybe using our detective skills we could say that maybe this is the journey where they spent six months in a leaky boat. However, when you watch the video, it is apparent that they are in sailors outfits, so they must be travelling by sailboat. Now according to Google, it would take one to two weeks to sail from New Zealand to Australia. And according to my maths, one to two weeks does not equate to six months. Now our next piece of the puzzle is six months in a leaky boat, wiggly version. Now this version is told from the perspective of Captain Feathersword. Now as we can see, the captain's boat is covered in large plasters. So does this song take place after the events that are being sang about? Possibly. Or well, this is all a front for the captain to make an insurance claim. Let's watch on. Come on now, me hearties. Let's do a pirate dance. Yo ho ho! Woohoo! Oh, bend your knees now. That's your now at this moment, I couldn't help but think if I was spending such a long time on a boat that could possibly sink, then I wouldn't choose to do a pirate dance. However, those guys did play those violins on the Titanic. Now the last piece of evidence is another song by the ever so popular band. This one is called I See Red. Now as we all know, water is naturally blue, and so the ocean must also be blue. So it doesn't make sense for him to see red. However, maybe he was actually travelling across the Red Sea. Now thanks to map technology, I managed to work out that the Red Sea is in between Asia and Africa, which is definitely not New Zealand and Australia. So in the end, I just decided to Google it, and the song is actually a metaphor for a breakup of a relationship. In conclusion, even if a song sounds like a happy song, and contains a bunch of guys dancing around, then it can still be an extremely depressing song. Tune in next week when we get to the bottom of Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. Bye, have a beautiful time!